Good day, my brothers and sisters. I hope and pray you are doing well today. So the question posted here is, is caffeine a sin? Well, first off, we need to see what caffeine actually is and what it does. What caffeine is, is a crystalline compound that is found especially in tea and coffee plants and is a stimulant of the central nervous system. Notice the word stimulant. What is a stimulant? What a stimulant is, is a class of drugs that speed up messages between the brain and body. Examples of these stimulants or drugs are nicotine, amphetamines, and cocaine. So caffeine is a drug similar to that of cocaine. What caffeine is, is a mild form of cocaine. Now majority of the Christian world today agrees that doing drugs is a sin. Now if you agree that drugs would be a sin, then you also must admit that caffeine is as well. Anything that stimulates your mind, nervous system, heart, etc. is not good for your body. Not only this, but it causes an addiction. That's why people are wound up today. They wake up in the morning and the first thing on their mind is, I gotta have my coffee. I need my coffee. And they're like this. It's not just one cup, not two, not three, but four or five usually. I know some that have to drink the whole pot. And if you are a coffee drinker, you know it's true. It's an addiction. And then when the caffeine wears off, all the blood rushes straight to your head and you end up with a massive headache. So you got to drink more and then you crash and don't say that isn't true. I spent my teenage years drinking nothing but soda and sweet tea and eating chocolate. I know the feeling very well and I do not miss it. So now that we have covered some information about caffeine, let's cover some Bible. I do post Bible based videos. I have no time for anything else for the time is very short. Amen. Okay, so let's get into it. The book of Psalm chapter 139 and verse 16 tells us this. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. When God created us in the womb, he knew exactly how he made us, our limbs, our vital organs, and our nervous system. He made all of these to work a specific way for optimal health. And when you go putting things in your bodies that changes the natural flow of things in your bodies, you are damaging your body. Your body is like a machine. Do you put oil in your gas tank or put coolant in where your brake fluid goes? Of course not. Why? Because you know it'll damage your vehicle. Our bodies are the same way. The Word of God says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Friends, you are that temple that God wants to dwell in. He wants to abide in you. When you come home, you want nothing more than to come to a clean house, right? Anything else is an abomination in your eyes. Just admit it. It's true. If you care about your living space, it's true. Well, God feels the same way. He wants to come in and clean you up. Sin and filthiness is an abomination in His eyes. I mean, this doesn't just apply to caffeine. It applies to cigarettes, alcohol, marijuana, any addiction, your diet. It all matters to God, brothers and sisters. I mean, all of this came about because of a bite of a fruit that God said not to eat of. A fruit. God takes these things very serious and so should you. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31 says this. Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Whatever you are eating, drinking, or whatever you are doing, do all to the glory of God. If there are things here you can eat or drink that give Him glory, 
then there also must be things that dishonor him as well. And we have pretty much established that. There was no sense of beating a dead horse here. So I will leave you with this last scripture. The book of 3 John chapter 1 and verse 2 says this, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Friends, God wants us to be happy and healthy. He wants to free us of all addictions. He wants to break that chain and dwell with us for all of eternity. He wants us to be physically, mentally, and spiritually ready for His kingdom, for He is coming very soon. This is John Tinsley with Everlasting Rock Ministries, and always remember, the truth never fails. God bless you.